It is 90.3 KEXP, and we stream all over the world at kexp.org, and we broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week here in Seattle. And my name is Troy Nelson, and I'm excited because I'm in a room full of friends, and I am so happy to have this band right here and their new album in my hands, the new album Arboretum from Acid Tongue. How's everybody doing today? Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Uh, I know that I and the listeners would love to hear some tunes from Acid Tongue. Can we do this? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. That medication's not the only thing you hide. Your situation isn't dead than mine Pretend that someone's listening Pretend it's not just you and me Tongue live here on 90.3 KEXP. It's hot enough.
Sitsung live, 90.3 KEXP. I believe we have a guest on this next song, am I correct? That's right. Uh, we'd like to welcome Miss Shayna Shepard. Woo! <laughs> All right, thank you, KEXP. Yes, thank you. Your words are so ice cold But not enough For them to cut me down I keep on coming back You're like a drug But I get passed around No matter what you say to me I'm in love And you hurt me like you do I know I should not stay with you But what a ride Suffering for you Every single Thank you, Shana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shana. Amazing. Uh, we're going to play a song that's not out yet. Cool. Yeah. Let's do it. This is a KEXP first, I guess. Exclusive, first. right yeah, here.
And there it is, heard for the first time here on KEXP, a brand new song from Acid Tongue, Consumerism. I'm making a prediction, it's already a hit. <laughs> yes, there's so much energy in your sound. Uh, the new album called Arboretum. Thank you, Acid Tongue, for taking the time to stop by the KEXP studios. We're so happy we could make this one work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a big deal. Busy schedule. It's a big deal. Second like, time's the charm here. You were like, I don't know. We could either do this or play KEXP. It's one, but I'm glad you chose KEXP. Uh, Guy, Ian, Faith, Alyssa, Sean, Shana, many of you I've been friends with for quite some time. There's so much talent in this band. I've known Alyssa a while. I've seen Alyssa play almost every instrument under the sun, including the harp. If you're good at the harp, then you're a master musician, and that's Ooh, what Alyssa is. Thank you, Troy. It's very true. And uh, I wanted to ask you about the new album, Arboretum. And it's named after a park in Seattle. I've lived in Seattle for 20 plus years, and I've never heard of this place. Where, where is this? It's uh, near Madison uh, Park. It's uh, right off the 520 when you're coming into Seattle. You mm -hmm. can see it off to your left side. It's kind of close to the U District. And what's so, what's so special about the Arboretum? I found myself spending a lot of time there during COVID. I was trying to get off of using drugs and drinking heavily, mm -hmm. and I found a lot of serenity <laughs> just being there. It's kind of a funny word to use about it, but mm -hmm. it was a nice place to really figure myself out and write music mm -hmm. and get away from the city that we're in, you yeah. know, the traffic, all the BS. Mm -hmm. So the Arboretum, I don't think a lot of people go there often unless you live in the neighborhood. Mm. And so I love what it was kind of doing for me. It was just peaceful. And these songs were coming out of such an emotional time that it really helped me just develop to be alone. Mm -hmm. And then I was able to bring that stuff to a bunch of musicians. So there was sort of this double meaning to Arboretum with the, all this number of musicians kind of made me feel like all the plants and you know the fauna that are foreign fauna in the park. Right. So I had a really wonderful experience getting off of booze and writing this record. Love that. Um, also, I was curious, speaking of uh, working on this record, what was it like to work with uh, the local band Naked Giants? Oh, we love Grant. Yeah. Yeah. So Grant came in and sang a bit, right? Yeah, and we were both kind of cleaning up our personal lives at the same time. So the song on the record, Won't Walk Back, is especially cool because of where we were both at in our heads, and it really resonated with us. And we got to connect heavily at a time when we weren't seeing a lot of other people. So there was this really emotional moment we had in the studio together recording these songs with some of these folks. The ones that we were able to see, about half the record was done from a distance, and the other half, we kind of got to get into the studio when things started opening back up and really, really vibe with Shayna, mm -hmm. Grant, all these great musicians that played on the record. Death Valley Curls. Yes, right here. Worked with Bonnie on the record. Love Bonnie. So she's on one of the, yeah. one of the tunes. Who, who also, Bonnie, has been in this room, and her and I had a fantastic conversation. And uh, they're just, I love Death Valley Girls. Oh, I man, she has the best voice. Yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, I was going to say, because I've been listening to Acid Tongue now for quite a few years, and I just love hearing how much the sound is evolving and uh, changing. I can even hear that in the new song, Consumerism. I can already hear you know, a shift in a shape that is uh, more, I don't know, it just keeps getting more energetic and more sort of, there's chanting and there's more instrumentation. And I just love that you're e continuing to evolve like into the future. It keeps people like me interested in the band. I'm like, what are they gonna do next? And another thing that keeps me interested, and I've been wanting to ask you this guy, can you tell me exactly what is going on in Mexico City? Because so <laughs> many, so many of our friends, and you are d d uh, deeply involved, uh, are going, keep going to Mexico City and keep finding other bands there. And apparently they have some amazing scene going on in Mexico City. And you know, people like the Grizzled Mighty and people like, you know, Cowboy Amaker and all these people are yeah. going down there and they keep reporting back to me. They're like, I wanna move to Mexico City. There's an amazing scene going on there. Can you tell people who might not be familiar with your connection to Mexico City and what is happening? Yeah, so I'm, I'm second generation Mexican-American and my mom's side of the family is originally from Mexico City and that's where three of her siblings were born and then the other three were born over in LA. And a number of years ago, I started going back to try and reconnect because you know, we really got whitewashed. They moved over in the 60s and it was all about assimilation. And for me, I was trying to recapture a bit of identity. And I think Ian and I were in a bit of a rut with the band. So on a whim, he bought us tickets down to see some friends we have, this couple, Jasmina and Miguel. 
they run Monkey Bee Festival and Monkey Bee Records, and they play in all these amazing punk bands. And I met Jasmina in New York City. So she's like, anytime you want to come back to Mexico, you hosted me in New York, I'll host you back there. And we booked a six-week trip, I think. <laughs> he was just like, okay. We already lived there. We were. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll move in with you for a while. And it really blossomed in this beautiful relationship, and we started curating some of their artists on my festival, Freak Out Fest, uh, which we do every fall. And we were able to bring these artists up and work with the Mexican consulate in Seattle and a lot of great press outlets to make it a big deal. We've been helping them apply for visas and we've been writing immigration letters, you know, and we're starting to get really into the weeds with making this scene happen. Mm -hmm. And I also get to spend a lot of time down there and see just the most fucking, it's you can right. bleep that? <laughs> no, it's exciting. I can see the most incredible punk bands in the world. Like, there's nothing pretentious about what they're doing in I Mexico City. I got a tattoo City. of one of them on my side. Yeah. Like, we're that yeah. rooted. <laughs> yeah, like, we're really getting into it. And so I w I've started a band recently with Yasmina and Miguel called Mala Suerte. Mm -hmm. And we're really kind of getting this punk sound down. It's like the Stooges, but Mexican. <laughs> And it has, so it's just very ferocious mm -hmm. and energetic, and it's yeah. everything I love about rock music. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard it. I love it. It's kind of dangerous playing with them, yeah. and I love that. And everything about the show has gotten really cool. So, it, and it's a different outlet than Acid Tongue, yep. because the music Ian and I create is kind of polished a bit more and very soulful, and dips into these parts of my heart, you know, that I, I love to go to. But sometimes you just have to shred mm -hmm. <laughs> and have a lot of fun on stage. And I think people can really see that with the other project and all the bands in there. Yeah. Stratosphere. I just, you know, I just keep hearing about Mexico City and all these bands. And uh, the other month, I was on air, and all of a sudden, AJ from Davila Six 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 walks in, and I've I've had that record since day one, like from two thousand seven, and I'm a huge fan of that album. All of a sudden, he's just at the KEXP studios, and I'm like, we man, there is, a, and he's talking about all the bands that he's met, and p people are touring together, or playing shows in Mexico City. Together. Oh yeah. So I wanted to ask you about that because I know that something really special is happening there, and I wanted you know the world to know about it so thank you for sharing thank that. you for asking about that one yeah. they're all going to be so happy about it. we actually have some songs that mala suerte did with aj so we got to get mala suerte in here oh we have to man cool. they'd love that awesome yeah. well once again thank you guy ian faith Alyssa, sean and Shayna. always a pleasure to see all of you hopefully we can all hang soon too and uh, once again thanks for taking the time to do this oh this was amazing thank you thank you and thanks to kxp for having us yeah. thanks, absolutely buddy. yes and uh, there you go, Acid Tongue, live on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. <laughs> oh, wait, this is a Nardwar. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, we did a session. That was great. Sounded, sounded perfect.